guys, it's Ken down here at Camping World of Asheville, and I am really excited about doing this video today because this is a brand new product that we have here at Camping World. This is called the Campsite Reserve. It's made by Forest River, and uh, it features that new smooth aluminum, not corrugated aluminum, but nice smooth aluminum, which is supposed to be thicker and harder and more dip resistant than regular aluminum. But we'll get to that here in just a second. I just wanted to give you a nice big shot. Look at this paint job. I mean, folks come up here and they say, hey man, this thing looks like a cabin. It looks like it's supposed to be out in the woods and that sort of thing. So that's why I'm really excited about this camper. So let's jump inside. This one here is the 2024 Campsite Reserve 23CC. And I'm not really sure what CC stands for, but we're going to jump inside and check it out. First thing I like right here is check out these lippered solid steps. Look how wide that step is on the top. Very nice for getting inside. As you come in the front door, you'll notice this guy is a rear bath. So here we are in the back bathroom. Let me just show you. Let's see what this shower looks like. You've got a shower curtain. You've got a skylight up in the top right there. This is the shower. Let me get in and see how tight we are right here. Oh, i got plenty of room to stand up in here. Check out this shower head. That's better than what I have on my house. I mean, a full adjustable shower head. you got all kinds of different, you know... So long to wimpy showers is what the sticker says right here. Check that out. So you got a nice, really cool shower head right there. Oh, I love this. You got a max air fan right here. This acts just like a ceiling fan. Gets all that moisture out of there. Plenty of room around your toilet. Then you've got a corner place right here up under the sink cabinet. That's the word I was looking for. Look at the size. Of, oh, there's that ugly guy again. Look at the size of that medicine cabinet. And if you need more room to stack linens, let's open up this. Look at this. It's like a full on closet back here. Look at that. I am very surprised to see that. I had no idea that was back there. That's really cool that they put that much hanging storage back here in the bathroom what a nice bathroom so i'm back out here at the living space i wanted to show you as soon as you walk in the door look at that you've got a place right there for a garbage can and they even provide the garbage can for you so that's really cool you got this nice bar set up right here you can put some devices here if you need to to charge up your devices this guy means that we do have solar on board there there is your command center to get that uh, awning out or to get the slides out. And you know, even though there's not hanging storage, there is hanging hooks right here. I have not seen this in a camper before. You can hang towels, dish towels, whatever you need to right over that kitchen area right there. So I might as well just go ahead and go around the corner here and get straight into this kitchen area right here on the edge of the counter look at that now that is nice big storage space right there right there on the edge of this l-shaped counter here and of course seamless countertops right here no seams here a gfi outlet because you've got all this counter space right here if you need to put extra appliances air fryer toaster oven coffee pot now let's check out this sink not only is it a stainless sink here is your dryer for your dishes it comes with a bamboo cutting board isn't that neat now let's check out this faucet yep oh it's a solid faucet i thought there might be a hose in there but it's a solid faucet i was pulling a little too hard there but then there's this this is a glass cleaner just like you would see at say your favorite brewery or your favorite restaurant where they take the pint glasses, stick it down on there and it washes it up. How neat is that? I have not seen that on a camper yet. Now let's check out these. These drawers are like double wide. Look, look how deep that drawer is. And it looks like it comes with a, a water 
a filter there and then another deep these drawers are twice as deep as the competition look at that you've got metal ball bearing runners right there to make it nice and smooth now check this out you have got a convection oven down here look at that that is your microwave and convection oven all together as one right there. And then you have your three eye cooktop right here. So I have not seen a microwave down low like that. That is really neat. Your three eye stove. And I think the reason why they put the microwave down there is look at the size of that window. Windows, windows, more windows. Nice big window there in the kitchen. Another max air fan to get anything out of here, like just in case, you know, the kitchen might be smoking a little bit. There's some cubby holes right there to put stuff if you need to. And this goes right into the entertainment center where you have, that looks like a 50 inch TV, a huge TV. And of course, right under that is a fireplace and the fireplace does put out heat, so you can use electric heat if you wanted to, if you wanted to save your gas. And here we go, the coup d'etat of this kitchen area right here is the, whoops, let me don't jam, there we go. Now let's try it one more time. The hidden pantry right here, right behind your entertainment center. It has this barn wood floor right there it does really make you feel like you're in a cabin so let's go into the part here that has the slide another nice big window right there so you've got quite a cross breeze and then of course you've got the elevated l-shaped dinette which is perfect for lounging around you know you don't have a couch in this guy so you can sit over here at the table Put your feet up if you need to, and bam, there's the television right there in front of you. No wonder they put a 50-inch television in, so you would have plenty of room and space to see it from this back corner. And I have known people to turn this into the bed. This table goes down, and it goes on these wooden pegs right here. Put those cushion downs. Fill the whole back of it with pillows, and there you go. You have a day bed. That's really cool, especially since you have this bar here to eat at if you wanted to. So ideas for that space right there. And then of course more, look at the size of that pull out cabinet. Every time I've seen a dinette like this, they might have a small pull out or you have to get to it from the top here. But these guys have gone a step further They've thought of everything and made it just a massive, massive drawer. Look at that, that you can put in. It's got a little notch in there so it won't come open while in transport. And over here, you still have some more space and a shelf. USB ports right there for charging. Man, they have just absolutely thought of everything. Now, check out this refrigerator a double sided refrigerator is that not amazing and then you have the freezer down below a double sided refrigerator in the sky right here here we are in the bedroom i'm hanging out on the queen size bed right there just so you got i could show you this wall right here look at all those cubbies right there that is four shelves with containers in there. And look at that nice barn door that just slides across the track. Here, I'll show you the two windows for a cross breeze right there. This thing is just absolutely full of windows. Now, let me show you this guy right here. That is a surge protector that has an outlet, USB, and all that kind of good stuff right there. So just in case you need some surge protection or if you need it to keep running while you have your CPAP machine hooked up to it, you've got power right there. Now check out, this is an end table right here. And then above that we have 
One, two, three overhead storage bins, and then of course, some more hanging storage here on the side wardrobe, and then some more space right up under there for linens. And if that was not enough storage for you, hey, why don't we just uh, lift up the bed and show you that foot locker that's right there under the bed. Man, this bedroom has more storage. Whoop, there's my finger. Don't pay attention to my finger. So you got one, two, three, four, five cabinets. One, two, three, four shelves with bins in them. That is the most space I have seen in a bedroom. And I really like those two reading lights up there as well. So what a bedroom, what a camper. Let's run back outside and see what's on the outside amenities. Here on the campsite of your camper, check this out. Look at the size of that 16 inch awning right there. It's going to come out about eight feet. So you're going to have all of the space in the shade, which I'm going to take today, a day like today. I wish I could talk, but like a day like today, you'd be a nice full shade right here. Check out that tinted door. That is something new that's coming out for 2024. Not all the 2023 models had a tinted door, but a lot of these models are coming out with a tinted door. Nice big square window right there. That's the one in the kitchen where you can see everything. You got the solid step. We already talked about the solid step. Look at this. You've got a double axle right here that gives you better stability going down the road and they're on aluminum wheels. Check that out. Not steel wheels, but nice, pretty, shiny aluminum. Now you've got your power hook up here. You've got a cable hook up here. And then you've got the two marine grade speak. Well, actually that right there is to put a television. So you can, uh, there's a bracket that goes here and you can just slide your television right there. These are the two marine grade speakers right there. Very nice up front there's another one of those big square windows and then over here you've got the pass-through storage which i'm going to show you here in just a second open this up to reveal that pass-through storage on the inside look at that it goes all the way across down there you can see the door on the other side and what's really cool about this pass-through storage is is that they put an extra large door here most campers, if the pass-through storage was this size, this is the size door you would get, but no, they went with an extra large door because they know you might hang a few things in here, strap a few things in, keep things from rolling around. Very nice job on their part about those hooks. And last but not least, let's go over door number three and check this out. You have your outdoor kitchen right here. Open this up. Look, you got some refrigerator space right there. And then, of course, your grill. Ooh, that's a nice big square griddle. Look at that. That's a nice big griddle right there. Greystone right there on this sliding uh, track right here. Wow, very nice. A couple of really neat things that I've really got to point out about this guy. We've already talked about this smooth aluminum and this nice white paint. But I've got to tell you here at the back of this travel trailer, look at that guy right up there. That is the camera. Most of these I have to say, it's camera ready. But this guy, no, the camera is already there. How about that? You got your ladder hook up right here. Uh, so you get a telescoping ladder in the store that fits right in there. These roofs are totally walkable. You got two water connect, you got your city water connection. And then of course a tank here if you need fresh water, if you're boondocking. Now back here on the back, this is really cool. Here is an outdoor shower, hot and cold outdoor shower right there for you to use. And uh, if I can get this guy locked back up right there check this out you actually have access to your water filtration system so when i pulled that drawer out on the inside this is where that filter would go so you have a nice access door to get into that water filtration system and then of course right here i wanted to show you the tankless hot water heater right here your uh, 30 amp service 
and it comes with a little light. I know it's not lighting up right now, but how cool is it that it comes with a little light that lights up so you can see all this. You can see your uh, black water dump right here to get that out. And you can also see here your stabilizer jack. You got a stabilizer jack, which is the new quick drop stabilizer jacks. So all it does, you pull the pin, it drops down, and then you give it one crank. No more of this kind of stuff on your cranks. And who wouldn't want mountains and trees painted onto the front cap of their camper? Very nice graphics job right there. And looky here, you've got a power tongue jack, which has a light on it as well, so you can see. Then you've got two 20 pound propane tanks right there. A battery disconnect right there because you do have solar on this guy and he's always charging the battery. Here is that second door for the pass-through storage right here. Oh, it's locked. I can't get it open. And then, of course, another one of those big windows right there. Cable hookup right here. And then you have your slide. Guys, this is an amazing little camper right here. A great camper for couples. There's also that dinette. You could put another couple in that dinette. It's nice and wide. What I really like about this camper is that it's only 5,600 pounds and it's under 30 feet. So this guy right here, it's, it's just a few inches under 30 feet with the tongue and the back bumper and everything. So it fits in all your state parks, all your federal parks. Any size truck can pull this. Most SUVs can pull this. So this is a great, great camper that you guys have to come down here and see me, Ken, and take a tour of this guy. You won't be sorry.